This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, Artie! And guess. Welcome back to Ace Attorney Investigations 2, everybody. We had kind of a cliffhanger last episode, sorry about that. Uh, Dane Gustavia just got hit with poison gas. Yep. Don't know what happened <laughs> to him. Also, Larry Butts is apparently in the art gallery oh, with us. Oh, I forgot about that! Yeah. We're in the middle of part one of many in the Inherited Turnabout. Let's continue. It's April 2nd, 1042 AM in the Zodiac Art Gallery, Fountain Patio. Hmm. They have the same walk. <laughs> <laughs> or just different builds, but same walk. Mr. Shields, how is the victim? Looks like he breathed in a little too much of that poison gas. He's still unconscious. According to the doctor in the ambulance, there are no external injuries or any other wounds. Thanks to our fortunate timing, we were able to save him before he was too far gone. But he's not out of the woods yet. He's currently being treated by a specialist in the infirmary. I see. Mr. Shields, is he an acquaintance of yours? Yeah, you could say that. He's Dane Gustavia. He was involved in the IS-7 incident. The pastry chef? So he was involved in the case 18 years ago. At least the other guy's doing all right. Is he a friend of yours, Miles? Yes, you could say that. It is fortunate you were not hurt, Larry. <gasps> What's you could say that supposed to mean, Edgy? How could you treat a childhood friend like that? It's just cruel. <laughs> oh my gosh. And also, when I'm dressed like this, I'm called Laurice Donum, you know. So don't call me Larry. It's Laurice. This man is Larry Butts. He's nothing but trouble, and he's been one of my friends since grade school. Some time ago, he awakened to the calling of art and assumed the alias Loris Donum. Yep. <laughs> Look at that face. He's like, <laughs> you know when um Rabbit's trying to draw a face on Winnie the Pooh? Yes. He's stuck and it's like the <laughs> Yep, it's that exact face. <laughs> it's that exact face. exact face. But a butts by any other name would smell just as much. <laughs> really? You two are childhood friends? I better report that to your old man, too. I'm sure it will bring him joy. He was always worried about you not being able to make friends. Good for you, Edgy! Aren't you glad to have a bosom buddy like me? My father was worried about something like that. But anyway, what are you doing in a place like this, Larry? How many times do I have to tell you, Edgy? I'm Maurice! What are you doing in a place like this? Yikes! Don't glare at me when you talk! So are you going to tell me? Isn't it obvious? I've come here to study art. I'm going to take Mandy on a date here, so I was just doing some scouting beforehand. Who's Mandy? Aren't you just using art as an excuse to go on a date? <laughs> Not bad, Loris. Maybe you can introduce some pretty girls to me next time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now you're talking my language, dude. <laughs> I think I'm getting a headache. <laughs> By the way, Loris, did you notice anything strange when you found the victim? Nah, not really. Nothing that would make you say, I saw something that no one should ever have to see? Oh yeah, that. I, I was just surprised when I saw that old dude fall down out of nowhere like that. I didn't do anything this time for once. Is that anything to brag about? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he's flipping us off. Oh there. crap, I forgot about all the voices I was supposed to be doing. It's the French girl. Catherine Hall. Catherine Hall. Uh, I remember her, but I don't remember what the heck she sounded like. That's fine. She's like 18 years older now, so. Oh, so she's like 30 something? She's in her 30s now. Okay. Visitors, we wish to deeply apologize for the disturbance. I am the curator of this museum. My name is Catherine Hall. She's also one of the people involved in the IS-7 incident. Hello there, Miss Kate. Monsieur Shields, thank you for your continued assistance. Oh my gosh, she's gorgeous. She was the woman we saw at the reception. So she's the curator here. She looks like, um... You know how they have, like... Um... Like, art where they're like, We're gonna paint flowers over all the parts that, like, you can't expose to the public. But, like, it's mm -hmm. gonna be like a nude painting or something. Yeah. She's kinda got that vibe. <laughs> We apologize for the inconvenience, especially since it's opening day. No, no. You don't have to apologize for a thing, Miss Kate. Ah, I almost forgot. Let me introduce you to someone. This is Miles Edgeworth. 
He's Gregory Edgeworth's son. Oh, Monsieur Edgeworth's! Wow. Um. <laughs> What's she gonna start dancing? Oh, how wonderful! I think she's gonna slowly turn she's into saying this She's by the way. I need the soon. Son. Son? <laughs> it looks like soon, because there's a million O's. I know. I need the soon. Son. <laughs> son. Bird ties the charm, right? I need the son. After 18 years, it is an honor to meet you, defense attorney. Miles Edgeworth. <laughs> you were slipping a little into Le Miroir there. Le Miroir. <laughs> wow, that was amazing. You still got that golden voice, Miss Kate. It's just dropped a decibel or two. <laughs> uh, senior, <laughs> here. Exactly. Actually, I'm a prosecutor. Oh, so you are a prosecutor. My most sincere apologies, Monsieur Edgeworth. This woman is very polite, but slightly odd. Uh, uh, Katie, can I get your autograph right here, pretty please? Of course, Larry's taking with her. Yes, if you so desire. Why do you want her autograph? Hey, don't tell me you don't know who she is. <laughs> my, my, you really don't keep up with the entertainment news, do you, Miles? Does Edgeworth look like the type to read keeps, anything entertainment related? He keeps related? up with the, with the steel samurai. That's true. What? What is this unbearable atmosphere? She's a superstar actress who's been in tons of musicals and movies. She's a great singer, too. Ooh! <laughs> Currently, I am the curator of this museum. I've already retired from the stage. I finished filming my role for the last movie a few days ago. My co-stars also said that they would come here once I opened the doors. And here you are, Monsieur Artist. I return this to you. Thanks a bunch, Katie! I'll treasure it for the rest of my life! <laughs> well, well. Looks like me and Lori share the same interests. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Larry and Raymond are kind of bros, <laughs> which is kind of funny. That's fun. So I gathered. Larry, you said you're here to study art. Why don't you practice drawing as well? Since you're here at Miss Hall's art museum. Oh, it would be an honor to have Monsieur Art to sketch our exhibits. I thought she was going to say sketch her. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I guess. Oh, I guess even you have some good ideas every now and then, Edgy. I'll do a bit of sketchy for Katie here. <laughs> what an amusing person. Forgive this disturbance. Incidentally, who was the woman that was with you earlier? That was Madame Delicia Scones. Really? She's currently assisting in the treatment of Monsieur Gustavier in the... Or Gustavia? Yeah, Gustavia. Gustavia in the infirmary. Even though I said infirmary, since this is an art museum now, it's only provisional. As I'm the only staff member working here, I cannot take a leave of my duties for too long. You run the whole place by yourself? How is that possible? And also be an actress? <laughs> Delicia Scones. I believe we have heard that name before, Mr. Shields. Yep. Looks like the whole gain from the IS-7 incident is here. Well, I doubt that's a coincidence. Monsieur Shields, Monsieur Edgeworth, would you care for some hot tea? Oh, Miss Kate's tea. This takes me back. Yes, if you please. Edgeworth does love some tea. I love me some tea. She gonna, like, start singing while making it? Guess not. Now I must take my leave. I must explain the situation to the other visitors. Alright, thanks for everything. She just leaves the tea card out. This smells like Ceylon tea. I should drink it before it cools. This is like Animal Crossing where it's like, try it before it cools. Yeah. <laughs> gulp, gulp. Wow, it's hot, hot, hot. Yep. Oh, this Ceylon tea is a very high quality. And this aroma of citrus. Does wonders for your concentration, right? <laughs> your old man said the exact same thing 18 years ago. But the saucers back then were chilled. Today they're warm. Hmm. Uh, anyway. Don't you think this uh, current situation is rather unusual? You mean how everyone involved in the case 18 years ago has gathered at this museum? Yes. I would like to be in charge of this case, if at all possible. 
Mr. Edgeworth, sir! Are you okay? Mr. Edgeworth! Mr. Shields! I came here as fast as I could when I heard that you were done in by the poison gas! Oh, my sweet honey Kay. How about a hug after being parted for so long? No. Jeez, so you're perfectly fine? I can't believe you made us worry so much. Detective Gumshoe, what is the meaning of bringing Kay here? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. I knew the gas was dangerous, so I tried to stop her. But no matter how much I ran and ran and ran and ran, I couldn't gain any ground. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to running away, no one is faster than the Yadagarasu. But you weren't running away from here. Oh, he has the gas mask on. <laughs> Mr. Eisworth, I'm all set, sir. I'll start investigating the crime scene. Since there might still be traces of gas in the room, I'll have to ask everyone to wait here. Very well. I'm counting on you. Good luck in there, Flatfoot. <laughs> wow. Wow, Gummy's so cool. He's just like a detective. But that's what he is. Not really, though. Yes, Edgeworth here. Mr. Edgeworth! It looks like the poison gas has dissipated, sir. Did he just take off his mask to find out? <laughs> and then he died. <laughs> <laughs> That's like when Arnold takes off his mask in outer space. Oh, yeah. Detective, calmly explain the state of the Autumn Palace. Yes, sir! I'll start with the exhibits. On the left, there's a statue of two people. And on the right, there's a statue of an animal with two horns. A statue of two people and a statue of an animal with horns. So there's a stepladder, and there's also cracked glass at the top. Yep. Isn't that the exact same thing I saw in the Winter Palace just a while ago? Also, the room is wet with water thanks to the sprinkler system. So it's gonna freeze. That also prevented the gas from harming anyone else. The sprinkler system? Was there a fire in the room? There are no signs of a fire, and the fire alarm hasn't gone off either, sir. The sprinklers in this museum are the kind that detects both smoke and fire. That's good. If it detects smoke, it'll send an alert to the security room. What does the EV stand for? Uh... I don't know, actually. Okay. I think the poison gas might have set off the alarm in the security room, sir. Was there anyone in the security room at the time? The only one working here is the curator, Miss Catherine Hall, sir. She's been in the reception booth opposite the security room ever since the museum opened. Oh yeah, isn't this the one that, like, isn't this the case that they, uh, Gregory Edgeworth lost back in the day, but maybe we'll win in this time period? Yeah, are you saying this is gonna be like a timeline branch? Timeline warp. Okay, no, I'm this saying is... he loses the initial case, but then we catch the real criminal. Oh, you think that's sure. how it's gonna be? Yeah. Oh, okay. Probably. Did Miss Hall turn on the sprinklers? The sprinkler system can only be operated manually from the security room, sir. If it had been automatic, it would have sprayed water all over the exhibits. Since the system is manual, the situation could be examined and the exhibits moved if need be. I guess there would be more priority over the exhibits than the building. Only at a museum. Brr! But it's way too cold in this room, sir! Isn't this supposed to be the Autumn Palace? It feels more like the dead of winter in here. Well, maybe it's just Michigan Autumn. <laughs> the Autumn Palace is cold. I checked the thermostat earlier, and it was set to 27 degrees Fahrenheit. I couldn't believe it. Why would the Autumn Palace be set to the same temperature as the Winter Palace? That's about all I know for now, sir. If I figure out anything else, I'll give you another call. I see. I'm counting on you, Detective. Gumshoe's more competent in this game. He is, I'm noticing. April 2nd, 11.15 a.m., Zodiac Art Gallery, Fountain Patio. What did Gummy say? He said it feels more like winter in the Autumn Palace. I don't get it. I haven't been able to enter the room personally, but it should be possible to look inside after the police have finished investigating. Hmm, I'd like to know what it's like in there myself. Isn't there anyone else who knows about the incident? Ah, there is someone. Miles' friend, right? Friend? Though he's such a nuisance, we have no choice but to listen to what he has to say for now. Wait, you mean... 
That's right, because K met him in the fifth case of the first Dead Drift game. Oh, you're here too, K! You're looking as cute as ever! <laughs> Long time no see! It's Larry, isn't it? K, right now my name is Loris. I'm an artist! That's why! Ah, so that's your pen name! Loris the artist formerly known as Larry! Wow! You really are a good girl, K! Nothing like edgy here. Larry, I have many things I need to ask you. What's this? Don't tell me you suspect me again! You're gonna say because I was the first on the scene, I must be the culprit, aren't you? I never said anything like that. Although that's how the prosecution works in literally every single other case. Yep. I only want you to tell me what you saw. You said you saw something that no one else should ever have to see, did you not? But Now I'm saying I didn't see nothing, and I didn't do nothing. Probably. Oh my, he didn't seem so confident at the end there. <laughs> there are somewhat troublesome circumstances surrounding this man. The saying, when something smells, it's usually the butt still holds true 26 years on. What? Um, <laughs> you haven't known Larry your whole life. You've only known him since you were like eight. <laughs> In reality, he was also just the stinkiest baby imaginable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One could say his tendency to attract trouble is legendary. It seems he's done something troublesome without even realizing it himself. I'll just have to try and extract the truth from him. Logic chess with Larry? Logic chess with Larry. Are you kidding me? This is gonna be easy. He's just gonna have <laughs> one piece. He's gonna have three pawns. <laughs> one piece? That's, That's it. it. <laughs> My goal is to expose whatever Larry is hiding. He'll just, like, move However, and himself up. I didn't see nothing! I didn't do nothing! He absolutely should not have three pieces. Larry is an extremely restless and troublesome man. Until he cools down, I'll just wait and see. First, I'll ask him about his goal. Remember, you, oh. you play logic chess. Hold on, I'm sitting up. Okay, do I press space? Uh, so arrow keys you're gonna need, and you're gonna need X. X. This isn't something I can't handle. I'll finish this quickly. To yeah, all the I will. pieces break at the same time. Begin I'm cool. I want to be under my blanket again. Why'd you come here? What was your purpose for coming to the art gallery? What? Are you saying that I don't belong in an art gallery? <laughs> <laughs> you don't belong. <laughs> hey, if you're not gonna talk, hold that pose so I can paint your portrait. And then I'll scribble all over the portrait I drew of you. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have to just wait over and over again. I was just joking! I would never scribble over my paintings, of course! They're works of art, after all! I don't think any of your works would qualify as art. Wow! <laughs> don't look down on me! There are people who recognize my skills as an artist! Those people <laughs> are blind. Mandy is my girlfriend, but it's really my painting she fell in love with. That's why I'll sketch anything my girlfriend likes! <laughs> the girlfriend's like, hey, I love dead bodies. Can you kill someone for me? Then why are you here on your own today? So what? Can't a guy with a girlfriend spend some time alone? It's just wait over and over and over again. Mandy said she's a Gemini. Like me. Oh no. I thought she'd be happy if I showed her a sketch of it on her next date. Of a Gemini? Oh, the symbol? Oh, she's super into astrology. <laughs> Do you really have that much confidence in the sketch? Well, I'm not so confident about this one. But I thought she would be happy if I did a sketch of her astro astrological sign. Uh, crap. Am I going to have to wait on this one? I probably should do that. Hmm. I see. That's just like you. To impress Mandy, you came here to see the Gemini sculpture, didn't you? Oh, okay. That's Wh it. What? How'd you find out? Because you just unknowingly told me everything. Well, well then, I'm not saying another word from now on. He's finally decided to remain silent. In that case, I'll be more relentless in my questioning. I'll try to find out what he was doing here at the art gallery. I'll expose his true motives. This shouldn't take long. You. Just what did you do in this art gallery? What's with that glare? I, I don't really remember anything. I, I didn't have a pamphlet, so I just loitered around in the phone patio.
Don't they give you a pamphlet at the reception booth after you pay the admission fee? Huh? Oh, is that right? So, uh, the admission wasn't free, huh? <laughs> Did he, like, sneak over a fence or something? Just be like, no, I can get it for free. Probably. <laughs> you didn't pay. Don't tell me. You sneaked in here without paying? I'm sorry! I didn't mean to do anything bad. It's just, there was no one at the reception booth. Uh-huh. That's why I, I thought you could come in here for free. Miss Hall wasn't at the reception booth? Yeah, it didn't look like there was anyone on the other side of the desk. Come to think of it, Gumshoe did say something about that. Miss Hall was busy activating the sprinklers from the security room. Because of the incident, she had to leave the reception booth. Poor Katie! She went to all that trouble to open up the place. And <laughs> now the art gallery is star attraction! The Winter Palace is completely ruined! You're certainly well informed about the Winter Palace, for someone without a pamphlet. The Winter Palace is where your goal, the Gemini Sculpture, is located. You had your sights set on the Winter Palace from the beginning, didn't you? What? How'd you find me out again? That's right! My goal was to see the Gemini Sculpture! From the very beginning, the Winter Palace was the very reason I came here! He confessed quite easily. You can never tell anything of this man. Next, I'll ask for further information regarding the Winter Palace. This is an easy logic chess. He may I'm still, just doing well. He may still have some fight left in him. I'll watch his reactions and extract the information I need. Oh, okay, well now it gets more complicated. I have no more use for you. <laughs> wow. Larry, did you see anything in the Winter Palace? You're still hung up on that? Didn't I say I didn't see anything? I started to think that it wasn't such a good idea to come to the art gallery. I needed to leave soon to meet my girlfriend. Hmm. I don't have enough clues to proceed with this line of questioning. Oh, okay. Maybe I should try another line of attack. <laughs> You're useless. Larry, did you also enter the Winter Palace? W what's with that look of distrust? Sure, I tried going in, but... You tried to go in, but you weren't actually able to, right? Yeah, that's about right. I wanted to go in, but... Then that old geezer collapsed! I, I, I was a little freaked out! So you couldn't get in because the victim of the poison gas collapsed? Yeah! He fell right out of the Winter Palace! Hmm? I'm sure the victim emerged from the Autumn Palace. If it weren't for that poison gas incident, I'd be in there sketching the Gemini sculpture right now! Larry must have mistaken the Autumn Palace for the Winter Palace. That aside, it seems his goal was to sketch the sculpture. Heh. <laughs> This should be a useful clue. Larry, did you see anything in the Winter Palace? Haven't we already had this dialogue before, Edgy? It's, this seems like deja vu. I need to meet my girlfriend. Perhaps I should try using that clue. You came here to sketch the sculpture for your girlfriend, did you not? I don't think you would give up on that that easily. Even after the victim collapsed, you could still see inside of the room and from the outside, right? Well, I may have gotten a tiny glimpse, but there's no evidence that I saw something scary in there, right? I mean, you covered your eyes. <laughs> oh, wow, that's wow. weird. My, my. I'm disappointed it turned out to be this simple. Larry, you saw something scary at the crime scene, didn't you? <laughs> Edgy, you- can you read my mind? In that case, there's no point in keeping any more secrets from you. He's like, oh, finally. Naturally. <laughs> you just told me everything of your own accord. That was a complete waste of time, but finally, it's checkmate. Cool. I can nice get job. back under my blanket. Logic chest complete. I'm cold. I, I like logic chest. I like it too. I miss Kay's, like, room 
Manipulate the thief. We used that in case two. We did, but only for a little bit. Maybe we'll use it more. I had he's, my... he's blue paint on his arm. <laughs> I had my eyes fixed on the Gemini sculpture. <laughs> You've mentioned the Gemini sculpture many times now, but I don't believe the sculpture you saw was the Gemini one. Wh what? Was it a mirage then? Larry mistakenly thought he saw the Winter Palace. This piece of evidence shows what Larry really saw. Larry saw probably the only thing he could see, which is... Or Gemini, he just went to Gemini. He didn't, he didn't pick up a pamphlet, though. Take a look at this pamphlet. In the Autumn Palace... The Pisces, Capricorn, Aries, and uh, Aquarius sculptures are displayed. Incidentally, I can confirm that the Gemini sculpture is located in the Winter Palace. Therefore, the sculpture you saw could not have been the Gemini one. I knew it! Hmm. I expected him to be a bit more shocked at the news. I thought it was kind of strange! I know I saw a single goddess! And that transformation was no mirage. What was this, like, a transformation sequence? Transformation, you say. Oh! Your curious too, Edgy? Well, nothing for it. Guess I'll have to show you. Show me? What exactly? The tear gas. I drew a picture of the very scene I just saw back then. But I really can't believe what I drew. Picture? What picture? This one, right here. Na 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 na. What? What? What is this disturbing picture? Is that the sculpture Weeping Tears of Blood? So, it's Weeping Tears of Blood, and there's pink. A bit of pink. There is. On the ground. I, I smell a scone. <laughs> delicious scone. You think Delicia's just like a psychopath or something? I don't know if she's a psychopath. She didn't win. There's no way she could have won that contest. Right. And she's just like, I didn't win. My fabulous scope. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't win the bragging rights for a year. Yeah. <laughs> and the rat bouquet from the latest, latest flower, flower shop. Maurice, <laughs> that picture's scary. Kay, it scared me too. This Gemini sculpture suddenly transformed into a goddess right before my eyes. I couldn't help but scream! So the victim collapsing wasn't what surprised him. What do you mean when you say transformed? I don't really understand it myself! The lower half of his body just turned into a fish! A fish goddess? That would be the Pisces sculpture, wouldn't it? In mythology, Pisces represents the fish that a goddess and her son transform into. Ugh. Really? So Pisces isn't just a couple of ordinary fish? Edgy, you don't think that that sculpture is cursed, do you? Those tears of blood turned the Gemini sculpture into a fish! Preposterous. You simply mistook the Pisces sculpture for the Gemini one. Unless the chef was cutting it up. Pisces sketched he, like, data jotted down the organizer. He was, like, he was ice carving, then he was like, accidentally stabbed himself, and then he just like put the blood on the- And then poison gas just appeared. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was magic dust. But he, he had no wounds on him. The paramedic said so. Uh, maybe it's like magic blood, like unicorn blood. Um, <laughs> From like a Harry Potter wow. or whatever. I don't know. Oh, you put the sketch in your organizer? <laughs> Even a sketch like this can be used as scrap paper after all. Wow. How could you? Larry's a pretty good artist, honestly. <laughs> but it's strange. Why did only the lower half of the sculpture transform? Uncle Ray's a bit curious about what went on in this Autumn Palace. Indeed. I wonder if someone tampered with the Pisces sculpture. Yeah, this is part of where the case gets very slow. Yes, Edgeworth here. Mr. Edgeworth! We finished searching the room! The poison gas isn't a threat anymore, so you can enter the crime scene. Right. Good work, detective. It seems we can enter the Autumn Palace now. Nice timing, Mr. Detective. Let's go right now! I want to see the Pisces sculpture! If Kay's- Oh, if Kay's going, I'm going too! I was planning on bringing him along anyway. Right then, let's proceed to the Autumn Palace. So, this is the Autumn Palace. It certainly does resemble the Winter Palace. I've been waiting, sir! Huh? Aren't you that Harry Butts guy? Wrong! I'm Maurice Donham! 
Never mind that, detective. Your report, if you please. Roger that, sir! Er, uh, we discovered a used gas burner during our investigation. The nozzle was still warm when we found it, so it may be related to the incident. Hmm. Was it used to heat something? Used gas burner data jotted down in the organizer. Was that ladder always there on the ground? It was probably used by the person who set off the poison gas. The poison gas was released when the, someone lifted the lid of, off that glass case, sir. Hmm. The Pisces Sculpture. Huh? Seems like you know about it, sir. Well then, do you know what the sculpture next to it is? Since we're in the Autumn Palace, it would probably be the Capricorn Sculpture. As expected of Mr. Edgeworth, I thought it was Taurus myself. I was thrown off as it was covered by this weird cloth. The fluorescent cloth! I wonder what it's doing here. Evidence from the IS-7 incident. Fluorescent cloth data jotted down in the organizer. No matter what it is or how it got here. Toasters? The sculptures in this room are all covered with this fluorescent cloth. And because they're hidden, it makes me want to see them even more! Let's take a look! I'll just get this cloth off. Wow, they're beautiful! You don't think the transformation Larry saw was in fact the moment the cloth wrapped around the lower half of Pisces fell. See, Edgy? It wasn't a mirage or a mistake after all! <sighs> hey, Miles. There sure is something strange about this room. Looks exactly the same as the Winter Palace we were in just a moment ago. Yes, I agree. Perhaps the sculptures were hidden to make it look like the Winter Palace. If you wrap the cloth around the lower half of the Pisces sculpture, it looks like Gemini. Capricorn is a half fish, too. Hide the lower half and it resembles Taurus. The remaining two, which couldn't be altered with trickery, were covered up. The Autumn Palace was made to look like the Winter Palace. So it seems, Mr. Shields, it looks like we'll need to conduct an investigation of the Autumn Palace, too. Oh, crap. Mr. DeBest and just Judge Courtney. Hey, hey, hey! You guys again! This is a problem. You see, this is my crime scene. Mr. Edgeworth, it seems my power is insufficient. If you're here, then it would appear that you still haven't understood my warnings. Ugh. Furthermore, you know full well your reckless actions will cause trouble for that detective. In the name of the Goddess of Law, I must pass judgment. You've got it all wrong, pal. I was the one who asked Mr. Edgeworth to investigate. Really? Well then, Flatfoot, I'll have to do that. That? Yeah, that. Uh, um, right, cut your salary. Looking forward to your next payday? Oh, I've always wanted to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, you're the last person I want cutting my salary, pal. Hold it, DeBest. I am only cooperating with the police force as a witness to this incident. Detective Gumshoe is not to blame. Hmm, so that's how it is. <laughs> well then, should I be raising his salary? No, that's not what I meant. But it would be really nice to get my salary raised. Your mercy is deeply moving, Sebastian. But past transgressions must lead to further judgment, or future judgment. Prosecutor Edgeworth and all his company depart at once from this holy site. This ain't Jerusalem. But, but that's... We only just got here. The one given the goddess of law's blessing for this incident was Sebastian. Why? <laughs> In other words, Mr. DeBest is the prosecutor in charge of this case. That's right, Mr. Edgeworth. Your opening performance is over. Besides, I've already got my eyes set on the culprit. <laughs> it's him. What? Who, pal? Well, naturally, that artist. M me Hey! What's going on, Edgy? Don't ask me. I can't understand his reasoning. If you can't understand how the best prosecutor thinks, it simply shows how inculpable you are. Inculpable? It seems he doesn't know what inculpable even means. 
That's right, Sebastian. Prosecutor Edgeworth is quite incapable. Um, yes, he's incapable. She just nonchalantly corrected him. Don't underestimate my intelligence gathering skills. Uh huh. I just came from the infirmary and asked the doctor there about the cause of the poison gas. And what was the cause? Uh, some normal substance. What was its name again? Uh, hold on a second. Uh, I'll call the doctor to make sure. Since Sebastian's on the phone, I'll answer for him. <laughs> He's actually just ordering a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Can you get me a, a Marco's pizza? <laughs> Parmesan <laughs> crust. Stat. Old world pepperoni. <laughs> Stat. He's like, that'll be, uh, I don't know how much Marco's pizza is. No idea. You never <laughs> ordered it? I have. I just can't remember just off the top calories. of my head. No, I haven't. You just have a million coupons for it. I haven't been getting them lately. In that case, why didn't you tell us before he called? The poison gas was caused by the mixing of two different types of chemicals. The names are normally, uh, normalium. Normalium and, and fatalium. Really, game? Normalium and fatalium. Really, game? <laughs> They're like, we don't know chemistry. It's a shame. So what are those two chemicals exactly? Normalium is the red liquid that's commonly used in everyday products. So it's like bleach, I guess, or whatever in bleach. It can be found in paint and detergent, among other things, but it's not toxic by itself. <sighs> so you're saying that it's, it's a substance readily available to everyone? Yes, but Fatalium, on the other hand, is not so easy to obtain. Its name sure sounds dangerous. What's it used for? It is the active ingredient of a white pesticide known as Megatoxin X. Isn't that the stuff it's that a cold, Dahlia It's used? like Cold Killer X. Oh, I, I was like, isn't that the same stuff that Dolly was like... Same <sighs> brand. I don't care if I have 11 Dell updates. I don't care. Fatalium itself also has a deep white color, but it's not readily sold in stores. It's nearly impossible to obtain domestically. I'm sorry, I just ate lunch and I felt <laughs> like I had to burp. Right now, we are looking into how this chemical was obtained. She just ate brekkie. <laughs> brekkie? <laughs> Poison gas data jotted down in the organizer. Oh, that's probably the pink stuff on the ground, then. Okay, I finally found out the names of those chemicals. Judge Courtney has already told us. We don't need to hear it again. Eh? Fine, then. I'll cut to the chase. You know that normalium from the poison gas is also used in paint, right? Today, out of everyone who visited the art gallery, the only one carrying paint was that uh, artist. Okay, that's, that's a reasonable conclusion. You, you treated me as the culprit just because of that? I object to the red paint on the palette you're carrying. Hey, Edgy... Don't you think this prosecutor is kind of an idiot? By the time Larry Butts is calling you an idiot, you need to you rethink your life. You need to your rethink life. your life. Also, I just realized his shirt has bows on the shoulders. Yep. I and thought those were shoulder pads. They are not. Indeed. Although I've only known him for a short time, his logic is always absurd. Hey! Don't ignore me! It's alright, Sebastian. They're only doing it because they're afraid of you. Nope. <laughs> like the first star to appear at night shows us reasoning beyond- uh, uh, Show us reasoning that shines the best. The first star shines best? <laughs> Not bad. Hey, you guys better listen up too. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I don't want to cross the Mr. Him. DeBest's shining logic. That artist was the first to discover the victim, so naturally he's the best subject. Suspect. Um, it's fine. He can say subject as well. He's an idiot. <laughs> the poison gas was caused by normalium, a chemical found in paint, right? As he was carrying paint near the victim, he would have had the best chance. The paint, along with being the first witness, that pretty much proves he's the culprit. That doesn't mean it proves he's the culprit, but it does give you a decent lead. So, what do you think, Justine? We cannot ignore the possibility. Well then, Mr. Artist, please tell us the truth. Did you leave red paint at the crime scene? Or else, did you cause the poison gas to go off? The only thing I leave behind is my bond of love with you. Please watch what you say. My gavel's already prepared to declare you guilty. Please pay no heed to this man's statements. Hey, hey, you guys! Ignoring my reasoning just because it's flawless won't do you any good. Mr. Edgeworth, if you've already admitted defeat, you should take your leave. Yes, <laughs> we have it. Even though I don't really have time to deal with your ridiculous reasoning. 
All right, well, we'll have to rebut him next time. <laughs> rebut him. <laughs> Anyhow, thanks for watching, everybody. Yeah, you can kind of see this is dragging on a bit longer yeah. than it needs to. All the stuff about the ice sculpture is like, yeah. they could have shortened it massively. They could have. And there's still more flashbacks to do as well. I'm kind of happy about that, though. I, I am too, but it's just, work. it gives you an idea of just how long this case is. Anyhow, tune in next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless. <laughs> <laughs>